Hello and welcome to our first Near Me in a Nutshell series of uh, small videos describing people's uses of Near Me. I'm delighted to say I'm here this afternoon with Dr Margarita Smith. She's the GP from Duff Medical Centre in Banff and she's going to speak about her experiences of using Consult now. Yes, so basically, particularly when we're on duty here, and there's a stream of calls to go through. You know, not every, mostly was in phone triage to begin with. So there's 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 not so many pre-arranged face-to-face -face appointments at the moment, um, and it's so easy to turn a phone consultation into a consult now. Um, Basically, you're just going to click on um, the consult now button, pop the patient's name in and the phone number and send it. And it's literally that easy. Um, occasionally, you can, if you wish, you could pop in an email address instead um, if the patient wanted to use uh, another device like an iPad or laptop or PC. But it's very quick and it's quick from the patient side. Um, they just receive the text or the email. They're just following a very few simple instructions, a couple of buttons and within you know a minute or so, they're up on the screen and um, it, it's just so much quicker than um, than the steps we had to use before. That's great. Thanks so much, Margarita, about the ease and the quickness of Consult Now. And I suppose we'd just like to find out, have there been any challenges that you've come across in using Consult Now or any particular solutions to those challenges? So very occasionally when you when you pop in a patient's phone number and they get the text, occasionally there's some sort of IT hitch with some of the phones. Um, and I'm not sure what that is about access to camera and um, voice, but it's so easy then to either use somebody else's mobile or to switch and send them the link with the, the email, not even the link, just the the yeah, the email. And, um, and then they can use the other device, like as I said, the, the iPad or laptop or PC. So that's what that's one of the, 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 the minor glitches, but it doesn't happen very often there aren't that many challenges practically um to 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 get over it's um it's, it's very very um um user friendly on both sides thank you margarita uh, and again um just quickly describe that what's been the impact on your practice of using consult now Yes, so it's had a big impact in, in our practice and in my clinical practice. So, you know, just that there's so much more convenient for, for many types of patients not to have to make that journey into the surgery when they're feeling unwell, when they have a fever um, or one of the family members. So there, there's a, there, there are absolutely less face to face appointments and um, we have less house visits. Um, it's very helpful for, for resuming patients in the, in the care homes. And um, you know, there, there's such a, a huge list of um, opportunities to use um, consult, consult now clinically. Um, so I would say it really has made a big impact um, where, where you're able to, to use a video consultation and maintain sort of lovely eye contact, get to see a patient's face and have all that lovely um, um, non-verbal communication as well. So it, for, for our practice, for me personally, it, it has had a significant impact and, and I very much enjoy using it and, and um, I'm, I'm quite thankful for it. Thanks. Yep. Thank you, Margarita. And finally, any particular messages for uh, fellow colleagues who are maybe considering using Consult Now in practice? But I honestly think that it's so easy to use and I think if once you can use it once or twice to go over that barrier um, I would commend it to everybody because it really is an excellent tool and it's at our fingertips people can use it it's great for patients it's great for us and um, you know it's it's an excellent tool that we can use. That's super Margarita thank you so much for sharing that with us today um, and, and for everybody else out there there'll be some resources out so some more near me uh, links uh, and again, once again, thank you for joining us and thank you for Dr. Margaret Smith for, for sharing her experience. Uh, cheerio.